and two. Shipley will be deep. Along with Maffa. Four of the Tigers. Four and three on the season. Two and three in conference play. And coming off of that loss at Miami in double overtime. 28-20. NC State had the bye week last week. Lost October 14th at number 17 2 24 to 3. Colin Smith will kick it away. The ACC on the CW. And it's into the end zone. So we get our first look at Cade Klubnik, 6'2", 205, and a sophomore from Austin, Texas. I wake up every day with a joy that I get to play football. That was the one thing I wrote down from our talk with him on the Zoom call on Working Man's Wednesday, as Davo Sweeney calls it. Enjoyed our visit with him. Won three state titles back in Austin's Westlake High School, Austin, Texas, and the high school that Drew Brees went to. First down for the Tigers, Shipley into the line. And only one. All right, let's take a look at today's impact players brought to you by Walmart. Walmart does just have everything for the holidays. We have your thing. Welcome to your Walmart. How about Brentwood, Tennessee's Jake Brenningstool? What a night he had down in Miami. Five catches, 126 yards, two touchdowns, some great catches. And you know all about Shipley. Shipley and Moffa both have to have a big day in that backfield for the Tigers. Brenningstool set a school record for yardage by a tight end. That is Stilato. He's driven back up to the 29. He got three of the pass play. Peyton Wilson on the tackle. Here's today's impact players brought to you by Walmart. Pack on D. Yeah, how can I leave Peyton Wilson off you of can. these impact players? You can. That's right. You all know about him, but you can. Probably the hardest working man in college football right now. And Sean Brown, just a sophomore, has filled in, done a great job. He's going to be a great one as well. So third down and six now for Klubnik in the Tiger offense. 44% on third down of the season, fifth in the conference. Got it away. There's room to run for Stilato. First down, head up to midfield, and a flag came out behind the play. I think this is going to come back with a hold late. I was just about to compliment those receivers blocking downfield. Holding. Offense, number 80. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Third down. That is the junior, Bo Collins. What a play dialed up there by offensive coordinator Garrett Riley. And great job executing it by Klubman. Because Tony Gibson, this defensive coordinator for NC State, brought everybody. The pressure was there, but able to dump it off to Stilato. So one more time. Here's your third down attempt. Penalty negating a 22-yard gain for the Tigers. From the 31, Garrett Riley, first year offensive coordinator. And now third and four. Lovnick got the pass away. Deflected in the air, boxed around. Couple of players had a chance at it. It falls to the turf, incomplete looking for Shipley. This time they go coverage, only bring three. Plenty of time, but outstanding coverage there in the secondary. Aiden White, both Aiden White and Shaheen Battle. Outstanding corners, and guess who almost had an interception? He's just around the football. Peyton Wilson almost locked into his hands. Instead, it's a three and out. And they force a point on Clemson's opening drive. Burning stool unable to hang on. This punt checks up near the 45. So that'll be excellent field position for NC State off the punt of Aiden Swanson. It was only 24 yards and it spotted at the NC State 45 yard line. So we saw that shot over on the sidelines of Dave Doran. Complimentary football. You hear it a lot and you hear it seems like even more from him as his quarterback. MJ Morris will head out there and run the show. Here's a chance. Your defense inspired, had a great three plays, got him off the field. Let's see if the offense can do something as well. This is Allen trying to work his way up the middle for a minimal game, maybe two. Officially three for Allen. 
opening stages of our first quarter. Thomas had the tackle for Clemson. Morris completed 24 passes on 40 tries for 193 yards and an interception in the loss October 14th at Duke. 24 to 3. In fact, NC State scored the first three points of the game. Never got back on the scoreboard. Right side and Allen. And he crosses over into Tiger territory. So here are today's impact players brought to you by Walmart for NC State. Well, and Allen can be explosive. We saw that back in the Marshall game. They need some more explosive runs. He's got them in a pretty good spot here on third down and short. Of course, Casey Concepcion, Robert and I. That's a nice chess piece for him to have out there on the board. The youngster has been all over the field. He'll take the handoff as well. 41% on third down is eighth in the conference for NC State. Third and short for Morris. Trying to buy a little time and escapes the pocket. Flings it incomplete. It was knocked down. Looking for Porter Rooks. Tigers, Jalen Phillips knocked it away, James. Yeah, and a good job by Morris to buy himself some time. But it also gives enough time for Jalen Phillips. That ball, of course, well out of the break. Looking for Rooks and Jalen Phillips just as NC State did on defense, able to get in there and break up the third down, try and force a punt. Clemson is the top defense in the conference. This is green. He'll accept it at the 12-yard line. That's where the Tigers will start. 37 yards on the punt from Noon Kester. This is the diving team. Braden Holloway does a fantastic job. And with that swing team. Second possession of the game for the Tigers, deep in their own territory. Shipley with two yards on the rush. Jalen Scott, the senior from Shelby, North Carolina. The tackle of Shipley. A couple run stuffs here early for a Wolfpack defense that all they've heard about since that Duke game is gap discipline. Be in those gaps. Don't try to do too much. You know, a big deal has been made about Clemson offensively and, of course, Kate Klubnick maybe trying to do too much at the end of that Miami game. Same thing goes defensively here. Just got to play within the scheme, within the system. NC State fourth against the rush this season. That ball bouncing around near the 10. Went out of bounds. So that'll bring up third down very quickly for the Tigers. And defensive coordinator Tony Gibson for NC State. Been here for a few years now. A few years at West Virginia before coming down to Raleigh. He's got a pretty good spot now right here for his defense to dial something up. We saw him bring the house, which... Would have been costly had it not been for the holding penalty last time out. Let's see what he does right here. Looks like they're walking back out of it. That last play was ruled an incomplete pass. His third down for Clubman from the pocket. Got rid of it over the middle in a diving attempt. Past the 25-yard line and caught for first down yardage. And it's number nine. Jake Brinning still with the grab for 14 yards. Yeah, number nine just keeps on coming. Klebna, as he's getting hit, and how about the focus by Brenningstuhl? Runs that route, knows where he is on the field, breaks it off where he's got the first down, has to go down and secure it. Fresh set of downs for the Tigers. 24 catches this season for Brenningstuhl. Third best on the team as Shipley runs it up. It's a solid gain on first down. Shipley got nine finding some daylight on this sunny day in Raleigh. Savia Jackson with the tackle for NC State number nine. Second down and one. Job there by Shipley runs up into the, the back of one of his offensive linemen. It's the patience and the, the feel around him. Get what you can. Don't get dropped for a loss. Don't get dropped right at that line of scrimmage. Get me what you can. And what he can right there is a first down, 10 yards. Yeah, they adjusted that spot. Awarded the first down to Klubnik. A little bit of a play fake. That one sails up near the 40 and intercepted. Devin Boykin. The interception for NC State. And Boykin using that bye week to heal up a little bit. 
The pressure's gonna get here late on. Klubnik throws it way too high for Brenningstuhl, and sitting on it is Devin Boykin. He's been banged up way back to that UVA game. There he is with the turnover ball. Gibson says he wants some dogs over there on the defensive side of the ball, so they're awarded a bone when they come up with the turnover. Uh oh. There's some grass on the edge. Concepcion down the sideline. Concepcion to the 15 and forced out of bounds. Short of the 10. KC Concepcion to the play for NC State. A lot of times an offensive coordinator will select going up top after the turnover. Going up top in this form is just handing it to one of the speediest guys in the conference and just a freshman, Casey Concepcion. He gets to that edge in a hiccup, gets it turned, and it's off to the races. Clemson lucky they can knock him out of bounds. And now here, right at the 10 and in, NC State has been just about perfect. 12 for 12 scoring 11 times they've scored touchdowns. Just the sixth carry of the season for Concepcion. That inside the 10, Brennan Armstrong was in the formation offensively for NC State. Concepcion, James got 50 yards on the run, and then they hand it to number five for a short game. Brennan Armstrong back in there. You haven't seen a lot of Wolfpack football this season. It was, of course, Armstrong's show early on. Transferring back to be with his longtime offensive coordinator at UVA, Robert and I. He left and went to Syracuse. Armstrong was at Virginia last year before transferring down here for his last season. Concepcion was in there. Rafael got the call and lost one. So after that big chunk run of 50 yards by Concepcion, short gains, and now third down. Coming up for NC State after the interception just a moment ago by Devin Boykin, his first of the season, ninth of the year for the defensive unit for NC State. James, here's third and goal. Yeah, and it, it's a big one. It'll be a big victory here. After that sudden change, giving up the big play, if Clemson can somehow get a stop, Gotta be careful with the wheels of MJ Morris, too, in an empty set. We've got everybody walked up on him. From the nine, Morris rolls it right and throws open man into the end zone and the touchdown. KC Concepcion, nine yards on the pass. There you have it, complimentary football right after the turnover, a score. Casey Concepcion, he accounts for almost 30% of North Carolina State's receptions. You better find him down near the goal line. You better find him on third down. Clemson unable to, and NC State drawing first blood. Fifth receiving TD of the season, Concepcion, and fifth TD pass of the year, MJ Morris, who had four against Marshall. Rolling out, just an easy pitch and catch, and it's seven to nothing. Just 60 yards. He accounted for 59 of those yards. And again, just a freshman. He was so good early in the season, starting since the beginning of the year, since the opener, that, hey, we can't just throw him the football. We've got to hand it off we've got to hand it off to him. So jet sweeps, and as we've already seen today, what we saw against Duke, handing it off to him from a running back position. And he's a heck of a runner running downhill between the tackles. Shipley watched it go into the end zone for the Tigers. Tuesday on Inside the NFL, the guys take a look back to see if the Jags stayed up versus the Steelers, plus do the 49ers get back on track against the Bengals? Find out on Inside the NFL, Tuesday, 8, 7 Central only on the CW, hosted by Ryan Clark. How about that? Halloween coming around Tuesday, you see it? Daniel LaRusso and Johnny. Fear does not exist in this dojo, does it? What's the answer to that? No sensei would have been that part of Wow, answer. okay. Defeat. Wow, that'll take you back right there. See what Club and the tire.
Tigers can come up with here in response to the Concepcion TD grab from Morris. Looking for Bo Collins, number 80. Shaheen Battle was back there, James, number seven. Yeah, Battle's been fun to watch. He's a battler. Fitting name for the cornerback. Interception in the tight one here, the loss against Louisville. He had an interception early in that Duke game as well. Incomplete first down. So here's stab at it on second. Mafa. He's rumbling his way past the 35 yard line and a first down out to the 37, 12 yards for Phil Mafa, the junior from Loganville, Georgia. Yeah, pretty good one-two with Shipley and Moffa. We saw last time out Shipley run 10 yards for that first down and after the incomplete pass, I mean, Clemson looking pretty good. The last few carries on the ground. Good job by Will Putnam, the center, and that whole offensive line up front. What about Moffa? Averages over six yards per carry. It's Tyler Brown. There is no game to play. Brown slow to get up. With some of that natural grass surface kicked up into the face mask. Had some guys banged up out there. A great job defensively, Tom, by eight right there. Robert Kennedy refusing to get blocked and just fighting with all he had to get back outside and to make that tackle. Well, Nick looking left all the way. Juggling grab at the 40. Spectre made it. They got five yards. Trevor Clemson trying to respond after that NC State TD trip. One way green, two big linemen back the other, and the running back is able to fall right in line. Hopefully that counter run game continues to work for them as they try to progress down the field maybe. Trev brings up a third and five for the Tigers. The crowd is loud. Defense all over Klubnik. He avoided the pressure, and then the pass is too high. Trying to find Stellato on the edge, and his fourth down Tigers ain't in white in coverage for NC State. Aiden White back there in coverage, but just about everybody else, I'm sure it felt like for Klubnik, in the face of the quarterback for Clemson. The twists have not been handled very well by this offensive lineman. The game's up front, but here's a blitz, and then you've got to clean it up. And feeling that heat of Peyton Wilson there late on the edge, and just throwing this away and punting it away. Swanson punts. Jalen Coit wants the fair catch. He's second in the conference in punt return average, almost 14 yards per punt, makes the fair catch for NC State with a 7-0 lead after the 48-yard punt. Oh, man. And then on Tuesday, yep. the season finale okay. of the Swarm. Well, on Saturdays are the best, okay. right here. You can't beat this. <laughs> Saturday afternoon, ACC on the CW, incomplete. Worst field position so far for NC State. Today's impact players brought to you by Walmart. Clemson on defense. Yeah, speaking of young players making big plays, like on that NC State offense, T.J. Parker, the freshman out of Phoenix City, Alabama, has been spectacular. And Nate Wiggins. Nate Wiggins doing a great job, as he always had there at that cornerback spot for Clemson. Together, they need to put some pressure on M.J. Morris and try to keep the ball out of the hands of number 10. Again on the five minute mark of the first half, and nothing NC State. Morris trying to dump it off. And Concepcion went down just past the 10 yard line. There is no gain on the play. Well, we saw evidence of this. Coach Doran calling Concepcion a baller, James. That was the term that he used for Concepcion. He ran the ball and then caught the touchdown pass in the previous drive for NC State. Well, and, and we asked him the question, you know, if, if if it was easy for a wide receiver with all that speed to just take handoffs all the time, you see it a whole lot more, but but you gotta be just that. You gotta be special and you gotta be a baller to be able to run between the tackles, not just on those jet sweeps. Here's a big third down for this defense. Need something special here. Cluttered pocket. Morris comes out of it, and they track him down. Well short of the marker. 
Makuba making the tackle for Clemson. Just a two yard gain, and the Tigers will get the ball back. The blitz was there, and it forced MJ out of the pocket. Makuba not giving up on it. He's going to turn and burn and finally run down Morris. Makuba in there. Of course, RJ Mickens, the safety appendectomy early this week had some stomach issues played in that Miami game but he's out for a while I hope he's getting better punt from Noonkester Shipley meets it 45 yard line and he hangs on so a 42 yard punt from Caden Noonkester the sophomore it's a Will Shipley the veteran in the backfield and on special teams punt and kick returns for the Tigers who have had a lot of success in this series recently, James. They've won nine of the last 10, 16 of the last 18, and seven of the last nine here in Raleigh. But right now, it's the Wolfpack on top seven nothing as Klubnik and the Tigers come out once again late in this first quarter. Best starting field position of the game for Clemson. Klubnik's pass is incomplete. It's a diving attempt by Spectre, and he couldn't hang on for the graduate student from Calhoun, Georgia. You know, and it was a nice job to keep him in front by Robert Kennedy. There was a whole lot of eye candy going on back in that backfield, but he just kept a nice cushion, kept him in front, even had he completed that ball. It would have been about a four or five yard gain. So again, you're looking at a second down and long. Maffa. He's going to lose one. So how about third and long? Caden Fordham on the tackle. Sophomore from Ponte Vedra, Florida. Yeah, Fordham. He's got some. He's got some promise. One of the. A lot of great linebackers have come through both of these programs. And Fordham's a young one. There's, a, there's an old man, but a good one. Maybe the best in college ball right now. Let's see if they bring him and his buddies on third down and long. Tony Gibson has been pretty aggressive. It looks like they're walking back out of it now in the rush three. Timeout, Tigers. There's a lot going on on both sides of the ball prior to the snap there, James. Well, there was, and he looked down at that NC State sideline, and they're, they're waving their hands, waving it off, waving it off. The linebackers back out, and Klubnik had to use the timeout. ACC football on the CW returns next Saturday as the Yellow Jackets head to Charlottesville to face the streaking, streaking Cavaliers. Georgia Tech, Virginia, next Saturday, 2 Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. Only on the CW, and what an upset we witnessed a week ago in Chapel Hill, the Virginia Cavaliers, for the Virginia Cavaliers in program history. Well, and, and maybe the lone bright spot on the day for Clemson fans, because a lot of them still think the world of Tony Elliott, who was with Davos, an offensive coordinator for a long time, now the head coach up there, and they've been through so much, so what a big upset. So here now, after the timeout, you're third and long. Well, Nick has complete win. Shorts, the line ahead. Boykin was all over him. Loss of one, four down, Clemson. This is an inspired defense. It's, it's a big switch from that game against Duke a couple weeks ago. There's a look at Boykin, who already has an interception on the day, it reads it immediately, and nothing doing. Dropped for a loss on third and long. Third, three and out in the first half for the Tigers. Coit, about the 21 or two, 36 yards on the punt from Aiden Swanson. NC State scored earlier in the quarter, a TD pass. MJ Morris finding KC Concepcion, nine yards, James. Yeah, this was a turnover turned into seven points. Concepcion got him down there on a long run, 50 yards, and from nine yards out, he'll punch this one in, and just a little bit too easy. You gotta find number 10, and I'm sure that they've heard about that a few times 
coming into this week from defensive coordinator Wes Goodwin. And repeated here throughout this game and of course at halftime. Tigers have now given up 57 points on turnovers this season. Second level for Allen. And he's got it up for a first down for NC State. Michael Allen on the rush and he got 12. There's that burst as he hit that seam. You see where he can take it. Robert and I looking for some explosives from those backs. Mims, Raphael, Michael Allen. They've moved Poole to the linebacker for three years over the running back. And some blocking type situations get him on the field. Right now it's Allen in the backfield next to Morris. Morris wants to throw it. They've got him by the jersey and they drag him down. Pocket caves in on MJ Morris. That's a loss of nine. Big root, a row, row, row. I mean, he's being held. He's stumbling through there. Finally, gets a hold of Morris's shirt tail and able to pull him down. Just what this Tiger defense needed. Second down and 19 after the nine yard loss. So add another sack to that total for Rook. Brings up second and 19 in the closing moments of our first quarter. And that's going nowhere. Flag is out of the pass to Raphael. Barrett Carter with the big stick. That was a loss of six on that play. Let's sort out the penalty marker. Personal foul, face mask, defense number three, 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Xavier Thomas. Left side of your screen, the defensive end, and you know, hands to the face, face mask, whatever you want to call it. And right there in front of the official, clear as day. And, and, the moments that we had the holding earlier on the third down try that went against Bo Collins that would have been third down conversion. And here you've got them way backed up at their own goal line and you bail them out. Raphael left side. Break through the line up to the 42. He got to and Tyler Davis had the tackle. And that should be the final play of the first quarter. So NC State in possession of the ball. James and the we welcome you back to the start of the second quarter here at Carter Fitness. First down. With Sheridan Jones all the way. Does a good job of just turning and running right there in phase, but he's just got to snap that head around. Plain and simple. You, you hear about it a lot. Those eyes get big on the receivers. And watching those hands, they go up. And you're in phase like that, you've got, to, you've got to trust your coaching. And this is an experienced guy. He had a nice interception in the second quarter against the Miami Hurricanes last weekend. Snap that head around and at least you give yourself a chance of not drawing that flag, but helping out NC State again with the penalty flags and big penalties here. Morris throws it complete. 35-yard line, first down with Sane. And to the 31, Keon Lassane with 12 yards on the pass play from Morris. Tom, in the loss to Duke, it, it was two huge problems for NC State. Number one was penalties. Penalty after penalty after penalty. And the other was catching the football. There were way too many drops. This one isn't a super easy catch. It's, it's one that definitely should be caught, but it was one that probably you put your money on would have would have been dropped in that Duke game for whatever reason. It was just contagious there for Robert and I's offense. It doesn't seem to be the case so far today. Concepcion has to reverse field. That'll be ruled as a pass and it goes nowhere. It might have lost a little bit. A yard on the loss. Barnes was ready for the play. Barnes, just like Makuba in there, filling in for the injured R.J. Mickens.
first six of his career for Mims as he comes to the sideline for the tie, uh, for the Wolfpack rather. One for three on third down of the game for NC State. Yeah, that's sixth in the ACC. Went from zero to being a scoring machine now. Third down and nine. Yep, five is Armstrong, in. James. Armstrong's in. Vernon Armstrong in his third down play tries to take off. Armstrong sheds a couple of tacklers, spins down, maybe a couple of yards short of the first down. Khalil Barnes on the tackle from Brennan, Brennan Armstrong. A big round of applause for number five, who's you know, he, he's a gritty, gutty football player. We've seen that throughout the years in the ACC. You know, and he made it interesting up there, fourth down and short. Had he not, they of course have Narvison, who's been a big boomer with the leg, but instead, and I'll keep that offense in. We'll call a timeout though before they snap. Armstrong starting the afternoon as the leading rusher this season for NC State. It is fourth down and run. So back in Raleigh, seven nothing, NC State. They were thinking about going for it on fourth down, but Brayton Narvison has come into the game. Yeah, I, and I like this call, especially with Clemson having a tough time moving the football so far in this football game. Got a chance to get points. Go ahead and get them. Got a guy that's been solid kicking field goals. 41-yard attempt, Narvison for NC State. Three more on the board. Season and seven in a row on field goal tries for Narvison. 10 0 NC State over Clemson. Last year here in Raleigh was 1970. Dave Doran can tie him with a victory today against the Clemson Tigers. No return from Shipley. Dave Doran, 11th season, he can. Ty Edwards with those 77 wins. Eight times NC State's been bowl eligible. Trevor, this feels like a pretty big series for Club Nick Shipley, this Clemson Tiger offense, because not letting go of the momentum so far, this Wolfpack team. Without question, their team. Stuhl had to catch 17 yards and a first down for the Tigers, their longest offensive play in the game. Well, he's smooth as can be for a tight end running those routes, and he's just getting better all the time. Great job to adjust, go back and get it, and still doesn't break stride. Nice play there on first down. Shipley tried to make a cut at the 40 and stumbled down. James, so far, it's been a struggle. This is the first possession of the second quarter. In the first quarter, take a look at this. Three punts and the interception by Devin Boykin. Yeah, and I think, you know, you credit this NC State defense. It's the highlight all year has been Peyton Wilson. Uh, but he said one thing after that game. We've got to play tougher. They're playing tougher. They're playing fast and they're playing physical, especially out there on the perimeter. Shipley spins his way close to midfield. Shipley got nine for the junior from Weddington, North Carolina. How about the view from Ref Cam? That's a nice one. I, I could watch the whole game on that CW Ref Cam, looking right at it. Take you right down onto the field for the run by Shipley. Just one for four on third down for the Tigers in the game. This is third and two. Throw for it. Inside the 30, leaping attempt, 25 yard line. That was Bo Collins. Collins has it near the 22, and he beat battle for the football. Just dropping it in there. A beautifully thrown football, and a great job to adjust and go get it off the shoulder pad of Shaheen Battle. Not bad coverage, excellent play offensively. 28 yards on the previous play. This could be a loss for Shipley. Down 
Petty doing a good job of coming over from his linebacker spot right there. Petty from the 9-5-4 down in South Florida played his high school ball at St. Thomas Aquinas. One of the best football programs, high school programs in the nation, just like Westlake High School. The club makes from. He's swinging out to Shipley. Breaks through the first line of defense. He's near a first down at the 12-yard line with a pass from Klubnik. Peyton Wilson had the tackle. Shipley and Klubnik combined for nine yards. Unlike NC State, this is where it has gotten really ugly in the red zone for Dabo Sweeney's team. Look at that. Trips per game, second in the nation. Points per trip, just about bottom of the barrel, 128 in the FBS. They have got to come out of here with some points, and preferably for Clemson Tiger fans, seven points. 68% scoring rate is 14th, bottom of the ACC. Klubnik looking for the end zone on the pass. Too high as Collins was trying to create some separation against Shaheem battle defensively for NC State. Well, and almost right on cue, you saw the snap was a little bit high and hard. Klubnik had to go get that, adjust to it, does a good job of pulling it in. And then he just throws it out of bounds, doesn't really give his receiver that much of a chance. But still, no disaster right there. So it's a second down and ten. They can't get a first down at the two. This is Shipley, 10 yard line, down towards the goal line for Shipley, and just short near the one. And Shipley remains down for the moment after the 11 yard play. Just short of the end zone for Shipley on the 11 yard play. And Mountain check on number one. We'll step aside for just a moment. Clemson knocking on the door as they attend. Great to see Will Shipley walking off the field after that hit at the goal line. It is first and goal for the Tigers, but here's the play. This was ruled a pass play. Seven is battle, James, for NC State. Shipley fighting, trying to get into that end zone. And I, and I'm just glad Shipley's okay. I don't know. I hate to see anybody taken out, but at the same time, you know, the targeting is the rule. And you know, that's a defenseless player, but. Here's the ninth play of the drive, James, with Maffa to the goal line, and he's in for the Tigers. A one yard TD run for Phil Maffa. And the Clemson Tigers are on the scoreboard in Raleigh. Fortunately for Dabo and that Clemson Tiger football team, they've got that one two punch with Will Shipley, who just left the game, and, and Phil Moffa. Big, big answer after going down 10 to nothing. Not doing much at all there in the first half. Driving right down the field to cut the lead to three. Fifth rushing touchdown of the season for Maffa, and that leads the team. Jonathan White's the extra point on a spectacular day for college football here in Raleigh with the temps in the low 80s. Light breezes, just a perfect afternoon here on the CW. Robert Gunn kicks it away. Gray. It's a fair catch at the two. Bray, second in the conference in kick return average. Almost 29 yards per return. Decides not to return that one with 8.24 to go in the second quarter. And his team up by three. Yeah, between Julian Bray returning those kicks, Jalen Coy as the punt return. A good return game. Here for Dave Doran in the Wolfpack. Gray had an 82-yard kick return touchdown against VMI, a game we did on the CW earlier this season. MJ Morris at quarterback, TD pass in the first quarter to KC Concepcion. And they will be 
drop for a loss. It's a loss of three. Well, just a good job to save it by Morris. I mean, talk about a fingertip catch, and then as a reward, he gets three big Clemson Tigers. Capehart leading the charge right there in his face, but a good job to pull it down and to live to play another snap. NC State this season, James, in total offense, 13th in the ACC. So far, 91 total yards. The Clemson's 131 in total offense. Tigers just drove it down the field to get a touchdown in the first of the game. It's a short rush for Michael Allen. Barrett Carter on the tackle. Maybe a yard for Allen. Third down quickly for NC State. Well, in this defense, of Clemson trying to quickly turn the tide, a tide all through the first quarter. The momentum on the side of the guys in the red with the white hats. And Clemson, after that touchdown, now the defense going to try to make a stand here on third down and 13 and force a punt. Armstrong back in there. One for four on third down. Armstrong the pitch. And that goes nowhere to Allen. How about Jeremiah Trotter making sure of it for the Clemson defense and it's fourth down for NC State no gain on the play yeah. Jeremiah Trotter Bar uh, Barrett Carter great linebacker play for both of these teams and just the right angle just like pops used to do it Jeremiah Trotter the junior has always been a, a big time player leading by example the coaches tell you he's becoming a little bit more vocal as a leader for that defense. Big play there. Third three and out of the game for the NC State offense. This is Green. He's taken down immediately. Near the 37 yard line. Punt was 39. Now this rule has changed over the years. You got to give him a chance, and it's, it's one yard now. It used to be the halo, a couple yards. That was close. No flag and a great job of hanging on to it. Takari Collins the play on special teams for NC State. So they put the ball at the 39 yard line of the Tigers. Went nine plays, 75 yards. On the possession prior to this one to get to the end zone for the first time in the first half. Collins. He's up past the 40 yard line. Clock rolling down towards the six minute mark. Two yards on the play. And Boykin, who had the interception of the first quarter, has the tackle here. Junior from Greensboro, North Carolina. Ninth interception of the season for NC State. Second best in the ACC. One yard touchdown run on that previous drive. 44 yard line from Maffa and three yards. Peyton Wilson on the tackle. With Garrett Riley down low near the goal line just moments ago. Had the right play drawn up for NC State bringing the house. They slipped Shipley out of there. Looks like they're walked up. Looks like a couple of them are going to be coming here. Here they come. Klubnik. Knocked down to the turf and incomplete. Trying to find Collins and it got knocked down. Well, had he found Collins, it would have been bow time because there was nobody there for him. Bo Collins did an excellent job by NC State. If you're not going to get there, get a hand up and knock it down. Would have been off to the races, Devon Betty, who's had a pretty good game in there, knocking it down and forcing this punt. Swanson to punt. Coy, fair catch indication in the vicinity of the 13 yard line and 42 yards on the punt. Coming up on the Subaru halftime report. We'll talk with Davo Sweeney, the head coach of the Clemson Tigers, go around the ACC.
and have your highlights and stats. Trevor Scales will take you through halftime. Here in Raleigh, North Carolina, Coach Sweeney trying to become the all-time winningest coach in the history of Clemson football, tied momentarily with Frank Howard at 165 wins. Compared to Howard's rock in Clemson, James Bates. <laughs> sure, yeah. I think everybody watching this yeah. broadcast fans. Memorial Stadium about 300 miles to our west. Charlotte's just about right in the middle between these two locations. Here in Raleigh Carter Finley Stadium. Side of our game this afternoon the 58th season of football inside this facility. And NC State has won 232 games. That includes the last meeting in Raleigh between these two teams. Robert and I was not the offensive coordinator at the time. Clemson was number nine, and it was a win for NC State, 27-21 in double overtime. Watch out! Quarterback is going down. Wade Wooden, second sack of the game for the Tigers. <laughs> Phil danced so nice, you got to do it twice. Wayne Wood has not to be denied. I mean, just trying to get a little hand on him, but he's coming off of that edge. Here you see him on the left of your screen. They got to do a better job of putting some friction. When you've got two to block him, and, and that's what you give, just the ole. Don't make guys dance like that. Wood has out of Tampa Jesuit. Bring in the wood. Forcing a third and 17. From his end zone, Morris on the run. Trying to freelance. Absorbed the hit at the six. And then finally toppled all of that for about a yard gain. Tyler Davis at first pop. And then they finished him off, Jeremiah Trotter Jr. And that'll mean a punt for the Wolfpack from their own end zone here. A couple pretty big pops in there. MJ Morris just, first of all, trying to get out of that end zone. And then just hanging on for dear life as the hits were coming fast and furious. And Clemson should have pretty good field position here. Noon Kester's punt. That's green. Right about near his 48 or 49, almost four and a half seconds of hang time. 52 yards on the punt for Newcaster. Tom, from the number one New York Times bestselling <laughs> author comes Sullivan's Crossing. This brand new CW original series stars Morgan Cohen alongside Chad Michael Murray and Scott Patterson in their return to the CW. Watch Sullivan's Crossing every Wednesday at 8, 7 central only on the CW. It's a softer yeah, and gentler. It is. Space. It's much gentler than an <laughs> F-Boy Island ring. Yeah, and, and, if, and again, Chad Michael Murray, not to be confused with Chaz Michael Michaels. We appreciate your clarification, Chaz. Yes, yes. Another exceptional read on your part. Sullivan's crossing. I'm a people person. From the 49 for the Tigers. Looking for the crossing of the 50-yard line. It's not going to happen. They're going to lose some yardage. My fault. Loss of two. He won't be crossing anything anytime no. soon. Although, the Tigers responded, though, James. They had struggled to gain offensive traction and then decided to drive the ball 75 yards here in the second quarter, and Moffa finished off the drive with a one-yard TD run. Yeah, now both of these defenses are playing some physical football, fast and physical. Love to get the sunshine. Fires that one. Inside the 45, Brandon Spector pulled it down for the Tigers. There's a look right there inside, breaking off that route. Doing a good job going up in traffic, Spector, and hauling that ball and securing it. Just about a yard shy of that first down stick. Nice throw there by Klubnik. They got 11 yards. James brings up third and short. Klubnik threw for over 300 yards in the double OT loss at Miami last week. Kalutini passes as well. Third time in his career. Over 300 yards passing. He wants to do it here on third down. He 
bashes his way to the 40 yard line. That's enough for Klubnik and a first down for Clemson. A little bit of toughness there from number two, James. Yeah, a little bit of toughness and, and a whole lot of speed. If he gets out in open field from the CW ref cam, there's a look at Sean Brown coming down and dropping him, but the damage is done. And it's a first down for the Clemson Tigers. From the 40 of NC State. Klubnik on target, 35-yard line. Adam Randall. Joining the group of receivers getting involved with Klubnik, and they got six yards on the play. A timeout is called by Clemson. 49 seconds to go in the second quarter. NC State has the 10-7 lead late in this quarter. History will be made by that sideline with a couple of national championships to his credit in 2016 and 2018. And both of these teams, James, 43, uh, four and three rather. And how about Clemson? Two and three in conference play. NC State is one and two against the conference. Well, those are both a whole lot of wins, and it is not easy as we're finding out to win a college football game. And this is going to be a dog fight for all four quarters, it feels like today. On second and four. That pass is going to get it done. Randall fighting for extra yardage. Seven does the trick at a first down, Tigers. One timeout left here for the Tigers. And a good job of being up over that ball in a hurry, ready to snap and spike it. Excellent job running that two minute O. Seven different receivers now used by Klubnik and Randall. His two catches are on this drive. Tigers received the opening kickoff. It'll be NC State's ball to start the second half. Klubnik and Clemson like to find a way to put seven more on that scoreboard in the next 39 seconds. Last two passes have been complete to Randall. This is Klubnik on a little play fake, and he just has to toss that one into the NC State bench area. Jalen Scott was providing pressure for NC State. Man, what a gut-wrenching loss, James, last week for this Clemson program. 28-20, double overtime against Miami. They ran for just 31 yards in that game and led after the third quarter, 17-7. Nice job on that last play by Jalen Scott to weave his way through and to put the pressure. Albeit a little bit late on Klubnik. Here to the breath four. Klubnik up the middle. It's only a yard. Davin Van on the stop for NC State. Davin Van, three and a half sacks on the year, and they're just trying to rip away at that football, trying to rip it out. And Dabo's going to let this one go down. Send that field goal unit in there and try to tie it up at halftime. Yeah, it appears that they didn't want to try anything too risky on that third down play. They needed to get down to the 17 of NC State for the first down, and now a timeout with two seconds to go on fourth down for the Tigers, and James just mentioned they're trying to tie it up here. And NC State took the 10-0 lead. Coach Sweeney and the Tigers came back with a touchdown run from Moffa from a yard out. And now they're thinking about tying it up. Just two seconds to go in the quarter. So Jonathan White's the story's been well documented. He's down in Charleston taking online classes at Clemson, and they said, "Watch you come up and kick some field goals for us." 43-yard attempt. Clay Sweeney, youngest son. Devil Sweeney on the hold. Timeout taken by NC State. Taking advantage of that. 
So Whites did make a 41 yarder James a career long. Against Miami and he's five of eight on the season trying to tie up Dave Dorn on the NC State Wolfpack. Dave Dorn hey here's a guy who was <laughs> thought he was out of football just about a, a month or so ago. He was he was actually in Whites. He was two weeks away from being up in New York on a trading desk. I mean going to work so hey you got a timeout don't take it into the locker room let him think about it a little bit. So this will be a 43 yarder and set a new career long for whites. If he can knock it through and tie us up. Got a 41 yarder against Miami. Whites. It is no good. As time runs out in the second quarter. 43 yard attempt from number 41. No good for Dabo Sweeney and the Tigers. He did update us on the injury status of Will Shipley. He will not return, but he hasn't heard much as far as the specifics of the injury goes. With regards to what they are trying to completely do in the second half, it's about establishing the run on the ground for them offensively. And then defensively, they've been able to hold Cats to less than 50 yards on the day without that 50-yard run from Casey Concepcion. So it's a lot about doing the same things and continuing to lock things down defensively the way that they have done thus far. Trevor, you're right. They've allowed 276 yards per game. That is best in the conference for the defensive unit for Dabo Sweeney. And they allowed just the one TD pass. Morris to Concepcion, nine yards in that first half. Yeah, that was an awkward play at the goal line. Will Shipley appeared to be potentially going in for a TD and collided with Shaheem Battle. Shipley did walk off the field under his own strength in the first half. So we're ready to go with the second half. NC State will have the ball as the shadows creep across the field here at Carter Finley Stadium. Julian Gray stays away from it, bouncing into the end zone. So for the second straight week, just seven points in the first half for the Tigers, and MJ Morris will lead them out for the second half. Side by side for the starting QBs, Klubnik and Morris. Yeah, both of these defensives have started to get after these quarterbacks, putting the pressure on them, especially the Clemson defense there late in that first half. A couple of big hits as Morris was able to get up out of the end zone. And Clemson would love to return the favor and force some sort of a turnover here early in the second half. Morris dumps it off, 30 yard line. Allen first down for the pack, out past the 35. Wood as on the stop, 12 yards on the play for NC State. Nice job by NC State to start things off right out of that locker room. There weren't a lot of big chunk plays there in the first half, but there's a nice one to move the chains here on the first snap. Morris threw for 193 yards in that loss a couple of weeks ago to Duke. And Seastead led 3 0, and then Blue Devils scored the next 24 points to Trotter, win that game. So Trotter and Wood has looked to show blitz and backed out of it. Here's another nice play in the secondary. That's Wiggins knocked it away from Porter Rooks. It's good break on the ball, good technique. Comes with that near hand to swat it away. So a second down. MJ Morris, 6'2, 205 pounds, and a sophomore from Carrollton, Georgia. On second and ten. Straight start for Morris, who threw four TD passes in that win, that wild one, James, against Marshall. A home victory for NC State, which is two and two at home this season. Morris threw for over 400 yards. Well, the total offense was over 400 yards for NC State in that one, and the four TD passes from Morris. 48 41. Well, he had the, the three interceptions, only one of them was his fault, couple tip balls, and here. He's just got to take care of this football, at the very least, punt it away and make Clemson dry. 
third and long for the pack. It's going to be short of the first down marker. Which is up at the 47. Five yards of the play to Gray as Wiggins made the stop. Yeah, nice job by Nate Wiggins. You can run that route in front of me all day long. I'll just break up on it and make the stop. About three or four yards shy of the yardage needed. So Green will be deep for the punt from Newtonkester. Fair catch made successfully at the 10 yard line. 42 yards on the punt from Caden Newtonkester. Tigers have the ball. NC State has the lead early in the foot off today. Looks me with pass coach Howard. Both players at Alabama in their playing days. Van. Loss of two, Maffa on the run. This is the worst starting field position of the game right now for the Tigers. Yeah, that's that's more like a semi truck than just a, a van. And if it has to be a van, it's not a minivan. Devin Van, the captain on that defensive front for Tony Gibson, just the penetration immediately. And Maffa runs right into a wall. That's not what you wanted on first down. Fifth year on the staff for Tony Gibson, almost 30 years. In coaching. Maffa tiptoe on those sidelines near the 10 yard line for the Tigers. And about three on the play. There is an NC State player down. Davin Van, the junior from Cary, North Carolina, and Cary High School. So they'll check on Van and will step aside for just a moment with NC State in front. Next Saturday, ACC football on the CW continues. The money ball. Big third down, third and ten. Protect that football. Klubnik near his own goal line. Steps and throws, and it's a short hop. Incomplete on third down. Looking for Brown. Nice job by this Wolfpack defense. They've got them pinned. They pin their ears back. And didn't let them budge. So now in return, as we go back and forth to start this second half, should be great field position and a very scary return man about to receive this. Three and out for the fifth time of the game. Coy wants a fair catch. Now tries to back away from it. And it rolls into NC State territory and down near. 46 or 7 yard line. The punt there, 43 yards from the end zone. Tuesday on Inside the NFL, the guys take a look back, see if the Jack stayed hot versus the Steelers. Plus, did the 49ers get back on track against the Bengals? Find out on Inside the NFL, Tuesday, 8, 7 Central, only on the CW. Right after that, Bates, the finale of the Swarm. Oh. The ecological thriller. Check it out. Yeah, I need to see at least one more shot of Daniel LaRusso and, and Johnny before the end of this game. That was that was impressive. And, and not only are they just dressed up, they, they both look like us too. And Jay Morris so far this afternoon, there was illegal touching against Clemson, so the spot goes all the way down to the 41 of the Tigers when the ball was originally in NC State territory. That was Concepcion on the move. He's got the football. Concepcion trying to carve his way through. To about the 38 yard line and three yards. Good job stringing this out, but still Concepcion able to get a few yards. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Daniel LaRusso's going to fight. Daniel LaRusso's going to fight. That was one of the best moments in, in the history of film, is when Daniel came hobbling back out there after they swept the leg. Wow. Thank you, Truck. It was your. That was your Halloween gift to me, huh? Recreated in the stands on homecoming <laughs> here in Raleigh. Mm. Brennan Armstrong is in there, feels the pressure, and they drag him down. Boy, that pocket collapsed awfully quickly on Armstrong. Third sack of the game for the Tigers. Yeah, and this is a, a front here for Clemson that's banged up a little bit, but still they go so deep, and again, NC State with those twists 
those games having trouble with it. You know, whether it's Brennan Armstrong or MJ Morris in there taking that snap, either one of them isn't going to be able to get away from that rush. Dabo's fired up with that drop, and now it's third down and 12. How about just one of seven on third down in the game for NC State? Overloaded to the left side for Morris. Looking that way. Sails it. Over the head of the intended receiver, Keon Lassane, the senior. So also 5-3 and outs for Robert and I and NC State. So Clemson now holding NC State to one of eight on third downs. There they brought the blitz. And Morris feeling a little bit of pressure and, and a little bit too high, not giving the same a chance. Yeah, they haven't had any turnovers defensively, but that's a pretty good job on third downs. Noon Kester's punt takes a sideways, backwards bounce near the 10. Finally down. Newcaster, Tom, we saw him against Marshall. He's, he, he pinned him at the one in that game, and then against Duke, he did the same. That one, you know, he had that spin on it, but it, it cut right at the 10-yard line. But still, it's not bad field position. Just don't put it in that end zone. So that was just a 26-yard punt. Trevor, what's the uh, the feel down at field level right now? Neither team get anything going so far. I think everybody's just in a workman's attitude at this point, and it's an understanding when they come to the sideline, there's a lot of the same old things that you want to continue to do if you're either side of this war of attrition, frankly. Both teams struggling to find a little bit of identity in the run game, and neither of them able to find any consistency in the pass game. Wondering what Clemson will do creatively to maybe get Cade a little bit more comfortable in the pocket in this drive. 127 yards through the air, 35 on the ground for the Tigers. It'll play action. Club Knicks pick. Intercepted. Intercepted Peyton Wilson. Diving for the end zone. Touchdown, NC State. The interception and to the end zone for Wilson. Dabo and Clemson, the turnovers, minus one in turnover margin coming in today as they take one more look at it to make sure. Peyton goes over that cone. And calling it a touchdown, it's He's not out of bounds, coming right at you there, the pylon cam. And how about that? I mean, just just a big play magnet. And Davin Van, who left the game just moments ago with an injury, I believe got a hand on it. And this will stand. And Peyton Wilson he hasn't made a, a ton of tackles. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. That's it. Like, like we've been used to, we've called these games. He just seems like every single time out, he's got a double-digit tackle game. But he's always around that football. Even earlier, there was a ball that was bad. It almost ended up in his hands. This one ends up right there in the bread basket of number 11. Fourteen points off turnovers in the game for NC State. Boykin and then Wilson. The view from Ref Cam. Wilson by Betty. The interception by Wilson. Fifteen yards to the end zone. And the acrobatic dive from Wilson. There you go. There's... Peyton Wilson taking it to the house, and there's 26 back there behind him. 
I said it was Van first, but it was 26 getting up there high. A couple times today we've seen those balls batted down coming off the hands of Clubman. Second interception return for a touchdown this season by NC State. Remember Robert Kennedy had one against VMI earlier in the year. One of the four wins so far this season for NC State. And Coach Dorn was really surprised, James, a couple of weeks ago about the effort of his team against Duke, especially off the win against Marshall. He expected a lot more, did not get it. Today, they've done it on the defensive side of the ball, certainly with the two interceptions and the 14 points off the turnovers. Well, the, the, the turnovers and, and lack thereof for NC State but they've been hanging on to the football and the penalties. They, just those momentum killers they have stayed away from here today. That's popped up in the air as well. Brown came down with it in the loss of four. How about this, James? Clemson has now allowed 64 points off turnovers this season, 14 this afternoon. Well, and Davo will tell you, a lot of these things that you know the red zone woes the turnovers especially down there in the red zone it's a recipe for losing football games and they can't seem to shake it. plenty of time in this one plenty of time for club to throw and that's up near the 40 and a first down jake brinningstool the tight end and a junior from brentwood tennessee has the catch for 19. yeah the last couple weeks he's had a couple nice catches now in this game and showing you what he can do once he gets his hands on the ball. And that was a big bailout right there. He's going to get an ugly on a third and one. This is one thing here that this NC State defense has done a good job of bottling up number two. He can run. He's when he scrambles and decides to tuck it and go, he can be very dangerous. But the Wolfpack D not allowing him to beat him with those legs so far in this game. The MVP of the ACC Championship a season ago in Charlotte against North Carolina. With the controls for the Tigers, flings it. Up past the 45-yard line, catch was made to the lotto. Aiden White came up with the hit. Three yards on the play for Clemson. Good look there at number three out of Asheville, North Carolina. Been big at that cornerback spot for him here throughout his career. So making some noise. And Carter Finley for another big third down. Club Nick in traffic near midfield. Boy, that is right at the line, James. Bo Collins. The junior from Los Angeles, California on the catch. And that is enough for a first down. The chains are moving with the football right at the 50. Well, there's the line and a good job by Collins, who's going to slip coming out of the break, knowing where those chains are, where you are on the field. And it, it was tight coverage, but just forcing it in there and using the big body to wall off the defender. Whatever it takes to move those chains and now fresh set of downs at midfield. Third catch of the game for Collins produces the first down for the Tigers. Some misdirection. Clubnick on the run. And angle his way to the sideline and he throws it away over the NC State bench area. It's a Clemson team who. While Moffa is a heck of a running back, the junior out of Loganville, Georgia, Grayson High School has turned out so many great products over the years. A lot of them going to Clemson. Wayne Gallman, one of those now in the NFL, but it's just him. We won't see Shipley the rest of the way, injured in the first half. Moffa plows his way up the middle for four, ran into Jalen Scott. Moffa has the touchdown run in the second quarter for the Tigers from a yard out, his fifth of the season to lead the team in that category. Third and six for Clemson. Number 46 for Clemson. Has the time, 
stands and delivers. Incomplete. Collins had a chance to grasp it, couldn't do it. You gotta have it. Gotta have it. This was NC State last week. Just a terrible time trying to catch the football against Duke, or two weeks ago, rather. And these big time receivers that have come through here, these and so many wide receiver greats. And Bo Collins has so much talent there, he could have really helped his team. NC State's got to be careful in this situation. Near midfield, and they'll play punt safe. 19 of 32 now for Klubnik through the air. Coy will allow that to bounce into the end zone. 46 yards on the punt from Swanson. And we've talked about the great receivers at Clemson. How about the, the great linebackers, both of these schools, and probably the best in the nation right now this year wearing that number 11. Tony Gibson, his defensive coordinator, will tell you he's never seen anybody play harder than number 11. Highlighted right now, you're going to see the tip by Betty and just always seems to be around that football. And that's how you make plays, hustling or be around that football. And, and maybe even one of, the, one of the top fastest guys on this football team, Peyton Wilson. They clocked him at 23.7 miles per hour on those GPS devices earlier this season against Louisville. And that's the fastest they've ever had here at NC State. That's now 10 interceptions for NC State defensively. Wilson with the 15 yard return for the touchdown. Leading tackler in the ACC, no surprise there. 10 interceptions, James, second best in the ACC. And Drake, Thomas, Jermaine, Pratt. Here you go way back to the Bill Cower days. And over at Clemson, Kirkland and Skalski. A couple of Simmons guys. And ben Bulware, the junkyard dog, played some pretty good linebacker for him. That's complete. That's Dakari Collins came down with it. Sophomore from Atlanta, Georgia, and a transfer from Clemson. Got five. Skalski, by the way, is, he's now with his former defensive coordinator, Brent Venables. He's on the staff out there in Norman, Oklahoma at OU's. Get into coaching. Third down's been a struggle today. Just one of eight for NC State. Came in eighth in the conference at 41% on third down. Morris. It done on third down and then some, James. How about 72 yards on the play? Morris to Concepcion, and that's the second time in the game they have collaborated for a touchdown. Tom, only two explosive plays on the day given up by this Clemson defense. One on the ground to Concepcion, and the second right here. And you talk about respect for a freshman. Toriano Pride on a, they needed three yards. So you know he's where he's going to break that route off, but he's afraid with everybody blitzing that he's going to get run by. So he's got to give him a cushion. Well, you, you give him a cushion, and if they, you're going to give up and you're going to give him the first down, fine. But you can't miss the tackle and give him the easy trip to the house and the big hit and touchdown. And trailing 24-7 now for Coach Sweeney, trying to avoid losing back-to-back -back games for the first time since November of 2011. And beyond that, they have not lost consecutive ACC games in over 13 years, October of 2010. 
72 yards, Concepcion. What an exciting young player in the ACC. And he's done it twice with a big chunk run of 50 yards on a scoring drive, which he finished off on a TD pass from Morris. And then 72 yards, breaking a tackle and going the distance for the whole back for Concepcion. Clemson fans on that sunshine a little bit, a little bit concerned with their Tigers looking right down the barrel of moving to four and four. And NC State fans, on the other hand, they have to be pleased so far. Almost three quarters in the book, and having to sit on that loss, that ugly loss on the road at Duke for two weeks with that bye. Delay in the handoff, Mafa. James, in your estimation now, 24-7 for the Tigers. They need to get something going, and in a hurry late here in the third. Yeah, it's still plenty, plenty of time, but but you're right. I mean, they, they need to, to drive the football and start to get some things going their way. It's a defense that has shown they can make some stops. Offensively, they, they've got to do something and help out that defense, at least give them a break. Well, Nick got away from the first man. Diving up towards the 35, just shy of it for Stellato. We got five yards on the play. This is ref cam and some contact over the middle. Look out. Oh. Oh, man. It's rough out there. And that's our umpire, Sean Garrity. He's up, he's ready. The camera's intact. We appreciate him wearing that today. It's given us some outstanding views from the field. We take you right onto the field on the CW. Muffa wrapped up. Enough for a first down beyond the 35. Peyton Wilson on the tackle. Two yards is enough for Muffa. Wilson, who had that exciting interception return for a touchdown of 15 yards in this third quarter. And Tom, he's, he's down right after that. He wrestled Muffa down. Wilson, an outstanding high school wrestler back at Orange High School in Hillsborough, North Carolina, and immediately went down to the turf. So while we have a second as they attend to Wilson, peek at the standings. Well, in, in North Carolina, I mean, they... They've had some tight ones over the last few years with Georgia Tech. And so you know, Georgia Tech's one of those teams. That, they beat the teams that no one thinks they're going to beat. And, and they, they struggle and, and they've lost a couple that they shouldn't have. I, I really hope number 11's okay. He's, he's really enjoyed watching him compete throughout his career. And he had, he had a bunch of injury issues early in his career. Big hand for him. To the sideline under his own strength for Wilson, who was in on the tackle on that previous play of Phil Maffa. Good job, wrap off right there off the edge of that defense, and then just immediately just. So you drop right down to the grass and you know, hopefully it's just a cramp and he can walk it off and be back in there right now. He sits with eight tackles, one and a half tackles for loss and that interception for a touchdown. It's time to three minutes to go on the third. Klubnik through the progression, safety valve at Mappa. He gets wrestled out of bounds up here to 42, Caden Fordham. Seven yards. Well, look at this all 22 shot here. And finally, Klubnik gets a little bit of time. But they've got him locked down in the secondary. I mean, they're they're right there in the back pocket of every one of those receivers. And Klubnik doing a good job of just dumping it off. And Moffa getting him what he can. But Clemson 
would like to get one the easy way themselves, but it's been a secondary for Tony Gibson that's been outstanding so far. Throwing on second and short. That is caught by Randall. First down. Chains are moving. 11 yards for the Tigers, who've been such a good road team since 2015. James, 35 road wins, the most in the football bowl subdivision, although in the hole with two minutes to go here in the third, 24-7, and the third catch from Randall for a first down. All day for Klubnik. Threads the pass in between a couple of defenders to Brinningstool. And that's back-to-back -back first down plays. Also 11 yards to the tight end, number nine, Jake Brinningstool. Fourth catch for him. And finally, this Clemson offense for Garrett Riley is getting into a little bit of a rhythm, able to complete back-to-back -back passes and move that football, move those chains. Once again to the air at the 30-yard line. Bo Collins hauls it in for six yards. Conversely, James, NC State, they've won 18 of their last 21 home games. And Garrett Riley, who was the offensive coordinator for TCU in the national title game a season ago, in the orange and purple, or regalia, if you prefer, of the Clemson Tigers this afternoon in his first year. And come up with something for Klubman. Runs out of the pocket, puts touch on that one. Inside the 10, down near the goal line, diving for it. Flag came out. That was Sage Ennis on the play. There is a penalty marker as he was diving for the end zone. They've marked him out at the two. We need to sort out the flag. And the play went 28 yards. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Number two. Helly's half the distance to the goal. Automatic. First down. Nice job by Klubnik. He's going to buy some time. He could tuck it and go right there but dumps it off and then fighting to get down there. And there's there's the face mask look right there. You saw the flags come out immediately. Jalen Scott, the guilty party, party there, but it won't matter. Sage Ennis. First and goal. Klumbin trying to do it himself. Right down near the goal line for the quarterback on the keep. We'll give him a yard. Bring up second and goal. Seconds ticking away in this third quarter. And that will be the final play of the third quarter. So it will be second and goal for the Tigers when we start in. They're inside the one to start the fourth quarter. Second and goal, Tigers. Mafa left side and he slams it in from short yardage. Second one yard TD run of the game for Phil Maffa to start the fourth. Come in and try to make it a 10 point game and the whole fourth quarter to go for a defense from Clemson that is Done a pretty good job, except for giving up the two explosives to Concepcion here on the day. And Whites makes it a 10-point game after the short run from Maffa. The view from Refcan. Second effort into the end zone. Tigers just scored from a yard out to make it a 10-point game. 24-14. Julian Gray ready for the kickoff. Natural grass surface almost in complete shade at this point. Pass 430 on the eastern seaboard. These rivals about 300 miles apart. Clemson off to the west of Raleigh as we go down to the field of Trevor. Got an update on senior linebacker Peyton Wilson, fellas. Questionable to return. They're looking for him to brace up that lower body injury is what they're calling it. Testing it out on the sidelines as we speak. Moving around a bit gingerly, but we'll see if he returns. Yeah, Trevor, there he is trying that brace on. We saw him there at the break. He was putting it on and then taking it back off. Trying to 
figure out a way to get out there. Not sure if there's a way, he'll be back out there. But hopefully he's okay. Hopefully Will Shipley's okay. He took a big hit at the goal line in the first half. And the TD return for Wilson off the interception was the first of his career and the tenth interception this season for NC State. Mims short yardage. Morris the pass to Concepcion in the third quarter 72 yard TD pass. The longest pass of his career and the longest catch for Concepcion the freshman from Charlotte North Carolina. He's got two receiving touchdowns in this game nine yards and 72 yards for Concepcion. Driven back. Let's take a look at that touchdown by Concepcion. It was on a third down, third and short, unlike this one. There he is up top. And it's talk about being on an island. There's pride. And that much cushion, you're doing that because you respect that speed and you don't want him to run by you for the easy touchdown. But you've got to come up and make that play under control. Keep him in front of you. At the very least, and let your buddies rally and get over there and help you out. But he whiffs and Concepcion takes it to the house. Six receiving touchdowns in total for Concepcion. And now third and 11. First charge timeout, NC State. So we'll step aside. Third and 11 for Dave Dorn. Rivalry. Tigers have won nine of the last 10 in the series. That victory, though, for NC State a couple of seasons ago, right here in Raleigh. Morris, quick release of the 30 in call. A couple of yards after the catch for Timmons Jr. Eight yards on the play. Akuba. Letting him, those routes in front coming up and making the stop and he's got to punt this one away. Newcastle to punt to Green. He's standing back there near his own 25 yard line. Just beyond the 25. 4.4 seconds of hang time and a 38 yard punt. Caden Noon Kester. 12.39 to go in the fourth. We talked about it, James, at the top of the broadcast. A crossroads game in the season for both teams at 4 and 3. Clemson uncharacteristically at 2 and 3 in conference play. As the defending champs in the ACC, beating North Carolina in the title game, NC State is one and two in the conference, two and two at home. Yeah, pretty good outing there for Clay, uh, Kate Klubnick in that 2022 ACC championship game. Both of these teams trying to scrap and find a way to get back in the win column here. It's a pass on the run. Pass the 35 and a first down. Tyler Brown had the catch. Right back to that air, these, these quick throws. And, and it's a defensive front that hasn't been applying quite as much pressure as they were early on, perhaps getting a little bit winded. Now they're without Peyton Wilson, their leader in the middle of that defense, and an already banged up secondary that Klubnik and the Tigers are going up against here. Seven completed passes in a row by Klubnik. Flag stops this play. He was six of six on the scoring drive. Before the snap, ball start, offense, number 10. Five-yard penalty, first down. Jeff Heiser, our referee this afternoon. Stilato gets flagged for the infraction. And Klubnik on that previous scoring drive finished off by the Moffa run was six of six through the air. Back to the 31 of the Tigers. Quick look and hit. Tight end, Brinning Stool. Up there with that tempo as they get some 
something good going their way right over the football and trying to keep the pedal down on that NC State defense. Five catches for 70 yards for Burning Stool, and that leads the team. Nine different receivers utilized by Cade Clubbick, the sophomore quarterback for Austin, Texas. Looking right down. Oh, way got hit. The ball came out, bouncing around on the turf, and Mafa's back there to cover it. Jalen Scott tried to tea kettle the quarterback, Klubnik. The ball knocked away, and the Tigers cover. This is a lot like that hit against Florida State. Similar situation at the, the third quarter. Nobody there for Scott. This one just from behind. And fortunately for the Tigers, they're able to fall on that football. But it's third down and 23 now. They lost 17 in the fourth second of the game by NC State. The edges will bend. Klubnik on the run. Got rid of it, sliding grab. Brinning stool. Sliding up to the 36, still well short of the marker, out beyond the 45 yard line of the Tigers, and brings up fourth down. We showed you the playoff at the top of the game there in the open. Kalen Deloach, Florida State, and Death Valley in late September. Clemson going down at the end of the third quarter, looking to make it a two touchdown lead instead. It was a very similar play. FSU ended up in the end zone at the end of it. Coit has to backtrack. Try and return. Second best of the ACC in punt returns, but that one just a few yards. Woodes had the special teams tackle. Able to jar that bar, ball loose, but Moffa able to fall on it. And Clemson punted away. So 9.42 left to play. Tigers down 10. Pass by Morris may have been tipped. Get it to Concepcion. About his day, James. Five catches, 83 yards. The two TDs also had a 50-yard run. How about Concepcion. His season? <laughs> How about <it? laughs> Come on. Fun to watch. Worth the price of admission. Number 10 in red, white, and black for the pack. Second and 10 after the incompletion. Tyler Davis leading the way defensively. Michael Allen had the football. He had white shirts up in his grill quickly in a loss of two. Look there at defensive coordinator Wes Goodwin. Trying to pump up his troops here on a third down and 12. And Allen has to hang on to that football just like he did there. Second guy in is going to be trying to rip it away. Two for ten on third down. One of those third down plays came here in the second half. 72 yards. Touchdown Concepcion. This is a deep ball. Running under it. A one-handed diving attempt. An incomplete. Anthony Smith just couldn't get there. Stops the clock. 8.51 to go in the fourth. Well, Anthony Smith given another chance here a few times. Similar situation behind the Duke. Defense two weeks ago, but unable to connect. More of the same right there. Just a couple inches off and diving for it, but unable to pull it in. A guy who's really fought hard to earn his way back into this lineup after he was pegged the starter coming into the season, Anthony Smith. But then not the, the best two a day camp. Before the snap, all start. Offense, number 15, five yard penalty. Fourth down. Dave Doran just hoping his defense can hang on going back out there and continue to play some good ball against this Clemson Tiger offense. Green for the fair catch at midfield, right on the Tuffy NC State logo. 40 yards on the punt from Noonkester from his own end zone. And another chance for the Tigers and Klubnik. Still all the time in the world, but, but it showed you last last time out. Two series ago, 
unable to put the pressure on Klubnik, and they marched right down the field. The two touchdown drives have been impressive drives, and NC State making them work. Peyton Wilson, looked like he tried to go out there. Or... See, you can tell the frustration and the body language of the, the linebacker right there. That will be up to his buddies. 8.44 left to play in regulation. Best starting field position of the afternoon for the Tigers. Muffa weaving his way. Muffa down the sideline. Trying to outrun the NC State Dean. He gets shoved out of bounds. Phil Muffa broke several tackles at battle. Finally bounced him out after a 41-yard gain. The big man getting all 230 pounds. Going on it, maybe, maybe a few more there. 6'1, 230. Phil Moffa trying to do it from way downtown. He's already got two short yardage touchdowns, and here they're inside the 10 again. Throw it to the five. Brittany Stool. Four yards on the pass from Klubnik. About that bruising run from Moffa. And now Brittany Stool has seven grabs in the game. Hook it to the ball and set Tigers. Second and goal. Two for three in the red zone in the game for Clemson. Klubnik trying to follow his block. It was Moffa leading the way, James, and Klubnik down to the two. And again, every single time that you make Clemson snap the football down here near the goal line. It's been such an adventure for Dabo's team down low. They've done a good job of protecting it here, but it's a big third down and goal now. Was the receiver in the end zone? It's Bishop Fitzgerald, number 19 in red, James. Klubnik tried to put a little bit of air underneath it, but he just didn't lead him enough. And Bishop Fitzgerald doing an excellent job of running underneath and ripping it away and not allowing Randall to go up over the top and bring it in. And so needing three points regardless to tie this football game up. Here comes Whites, who's already missed one in this one. 19 yards away for Whites. Ooh, hold your breath moment there for the Tigers. As that one turns in and good. Dick's career victory as the head coach of the Tigers. 15 full seasons on the sideline for the Tigers. After being an assistant under our good friend Tommy Bowden in Clemson, South Carolina. Gray watches it go through the end zone. Just inside of seven minutes to go. And this, really, we've showed you this on a number of occasions, but it bears repeating. It's incredible, James. You have to go right. back to November of 2011 for back-to-back -back losses. Right. Says a lot about this coaching staff. Says a lot about that man right there. A lot about the leaders that have come through this program. You know, and that's one thing that NC State has done and yeah, they don't have quite the record on back-to-back -back losses that, that Clemson does and Dabo Sweeney does, but the way they played against Duke, it's been a completely different Copy. football team after the bye. This is Morris looking and looking. Incomplete at the 30. And Trevor, all of a sudden, you feel like the Tigers climbing right back into this one after the field goal from Whites a moment ago. Without question, and by courtesy of the running back, Mafa establishing that run game, something that Dabo Swinney said he wanted to do coming out of halftime. That's exactly how they get back into their bag offensively. Defensively on the NC State sideline, it's still work to be done, and you can tell from the coaching style here. It's active, it's conversational, it's a lot of energy. Not in the sense that there's any panic, but rather that they understand that there's still a job to do, and they've done a Decent job of it thus far. Last two drives prior to this one, Trevor, with Concepcion trying to break through. The last two drives, just six plays and zero yards. And now, all of a sudden, it's third down for NC State. Yeah, 
and this is one thing that they can't afford to do, I was going to say, coming into this series is, is just try to play soft and conservative. There's a lot of time in this football game, and they didn't right off the bat, but the drop by Gray is one thing they've been able to avoid, one thing that was really, really bad against Duke. But here it comes back to rear its ugly head, and now it's a third down and nine. Clemson, here they come. Just two third down conversions on the afternoon for NC State. The pass up beyond the 35, and it's a first down to the same for the back as he beats Sharon Jones. 13 yards. It's a game of 12. Great job by the pack to pick up the blitz and keep that pocket. Although tight, clean for MJ Morris, and he throws a strike. The only way it could have been delivered, Lassane hangs on, and they'll move the chains. What a huge third down pickup. Just the second catch of the game for Lassane, but it's an enormous one for the first down. Just a third, third down conversion of the game. Morris again wants to pump it up. Now he gets out of the pocket. Fancy footwork to the 40. Shoestring tackled by Jeremiah Trotter Jr. And two yards on the play for Morris. Nice job by the All-American linebacker Jeremiah Trotter. We saw him just moments ago. He took the right angle to take down Concepcion. And this time he gets those shoelaces on MJ Morris. What would have been a big hitter, perhaps a first down and then some. Twelfth year on the staff for defensive coordinator Wes Goodwin. Second year as defensive coordinator. And he'll like that as that pass sails incomplete from Morris. Tried to find Lassane. Tried to sell that play action fake hard. And then I believe it was Trotter right there in the face of Morris as he let it go. And a smart football play by Jeremiah Trotter to ease up. So many times we see guys get that free shot at the quarterback. And they lay a big hit on him and get the flag, give him a freebie instead. He lays off incomplete pass, and here's another third and long. And the pack do it again from the 40. Morris got rid of it. Not sure the receiver was ready, James. Juice Marine. Sheridan Jones in coverage, fourth down. Yeah, Juice for rain. I mean, it hit him it's right in the chest. And just here in the last few moments, two big drops by Dave Doran's receivers. And that would have been a first down. Seven and touch by NC State. Got a mark it up near the eight. 423 on the game clock. 53 yards on the punt. Hey, that guy right there, 44. Narvison. Man, he's he's been fantastic. Great punt. Every time we've been out here to Raleigh, we've seen him pinning the opponents deep. Looking like a little bit like like a boss. Don't say like a mini don't say Well look at him. He's got the he's got the blonde <laughs> hair shaved up and just needs some of those and Brian Bosworth strikes with that 44 on. That's a kicker with that too. <laughs> Made a 41 yarder. For NC State in the second quarter. Harvison made a 57 yarder, the only points of the game against Duke two weeks ago. Overload to the right side, Tigers from deep in their own territory. Trying to get some breathing room out near the 15 yard line. Troy Stilato. How about six catches and six yards on the play for Stilato. Season high 30 completions in the game for Klubnik. Mafa. 
now you're in a situation where you'd like to go NASCAR like that tempo when they've been at their best here it's been a, it's been when the tempo's been on but at the same time you, you can take your time here's a third down and short I guess first things first three timeouts left for the Tigers the 20 yard for Brittingstool, first down, Boykin on the tackle. How about eight catches in the game, a season high for Jake Brittingstool. Coming off those five catches and two touchdowns a week ago down in Miami, Florida. Loved it. Just fires that one to the NC State sideline. C10 streaking across the field, James. That's the lotto. Yeah, the Klubnik was on the run over there towards the sideline. Didn't have a chance to look back at Stilato, giving catch number seven. Stilato and Brittings School, 14 catches between them in the game for Klubnik. Delay, handoff, mop up. The bruiser past the 25 yard line. Stayed inbounds, clock still runs. Sean Brown the tackle. Clock will stop on a first down in the final two minutes of the quarter. Six yards on the play. Crunch time in Raleigh. Two and a half minutes to go. They didn't give it off. There's a flag. Jeff Heiser. Wow. The play clock operator never reset the play clock. We will redo this play. It'll be third down. Please check the game clock. Will they review it just to see how much So the, the play clock operator here in Carter Finley didn't reset the play clock. So there, there you have it. And it's already, as they get set, it's under 10. So, but I don't know how, if he didn't reset the play clock, how you can review anything. They'll probably just come out and have to play this thing with a new play clock. Coach Doran trying to tie for the most wins from a head coach in NC State history. And his team in front right now with 2.20 on the clock. This will be third and four after they get this all sorted out. We'll take you right on the field with referee cam and then right in the middle of the action. We showed you that game clinching interception by Virginia a week ago and it's upset win against North Carolina. From ref cam, and now we're ready to crank it up. Clock is rolling. Late in the fourth, 24-17, and it's third down for the Tigers. See if Gibson dials up some pressure here. Put it in the face of Klubnik. Mafa mm. bashes his way a little bit short. Sean Brown on the stop. Three yards for Mafa. Maybe a yard or so, James. Maybe a yard or so. Well, and a good job by the safety to step up there and force a fourth down and short. Ball game. First attempt on fourth down of the game as the clock continues to run. 137, 136. Here's the snap. Plumnik has to improvise. He's got room. He's got a first down. And out here the 40K. Plumnik for the Clemson Tigers. Nine yards on 
on a scamper and a fresh set of downs. Well, they've held him in check using his legs throughout the day. And this time, he tucks it, gets outside, and able to move those chains and keep this game alive. 128 left to play now. Hand off. Mafa reversing direction, spinning up towards midfield and about a yard short of a first down. Nine of the rush by Mafa. Tigers have to hurry up. Timeout. Dabo Sweeney and Clemson. But Phil Mafa, James, 15 carries, 82 yards, and two touchdowns. There's another. Good look at it from that ref can. Big bodies like Will Putnam, the center up there. Just paving the way for Moffa on the first down carry. A big chunk of change there to make it second down and one. Bat an eye, and now there's 115 left to go here in the fourth. Still three timeouts, though, or two rather, for Dabo Sweeney and his Tigers. Be able to call that running play, James, because he had the full complement of timeouts. 69 of the 82 yards for Maffa in the second half. TD runs for his head coach in the second quarter, and here in the fourth as well. Both one yard away from Maffa. 24 17. All you can ask for, Bates, in the textile ball, NC State and Clemson. Wolfpack just needs to continue to make them earn it. Don't give up the big hitter. Keep them in front. Dubnik has the time. Diving attempt in midfield. Stilato, but there was no game. Yeah, they'll, they'll do just that. Keep Talk about keeping them in front. Clock won't stop. No game. Inside of a minute to go, James. Off him on the run. Got the first down, which will stop the clock. You get the first down, 51 seconds to go. Let's go, let's go, says Dabo. He wants him over that ball and set. Here goes the clock. They set it, they roll the clock. Klubnik back to pass, straight drop. Has to just dump it off the Mafa, trying to get to the sideline. He dives there and stops the clock. On the NC State side of the 50 into pack territory, although a loss of two. Again, Tom, I, this, this secondary has just locked down these receivers of Clemson. You know, the, the intermediate routes a few times here in the pockets of that zone, but for the most part, they have clamped down. And time after time, you've seen Klubnik just having to dump it off. He's thrown the football 48 times in the game. Wants to do it again. Felt the pressure. Couldn't get away. Tried to get rid of it. He was dragged down. That was Van. A couple things here. Does this ball make it back? To the line of scrimmage. Is he down? They'll take a look at it. Look at the hustle by Van, and he is down. He's down. The ruling on the field for the moment was incomplete pass. The play is incomplete pass. The play is under further review. Yeah, they're going to take a look at that one. 31 seconds to go. You saw from our replay. There may be, James, indisputable video evidence to overturn the call, which on the field was incomplete pass by Klubnik. That's Davin Van in pursuit. That, so he is down. That shouldn't take too long for them to review. And I just, you talk about impressive. Big Devin Van, his hustle throughout this game. He has been a big difference. And, and look at these guys down the field. Just nowhere to go. Wow. The 
So Jeff Heiser is taking a look at the replay. Although it appeared that we had indisputable video evidence. From that replay, this is what the officials are looking at. In conjunction with the command center, Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, just about the midway point between these two schools. Raleigh, North Carolina, Clemson, South Carolina. The 91st all-time meeting is going right down to the wire. 31 seconds to go. James, how about our last three weeks on the CW? What do you think? Can you handle it? And the NC State Marshall game. After further review, the runner was down at the 43-yard line. It'll be third down. Clemson will take a timeout to prevent a 10-second runoff. Timeout, Clemson. So that's the second timeout used by the Tigers. Loss of seven on the play, as there was indisputable video evidence to return the call, which initially was incomplete pass. Here's your evidence, James. Well, had he gotten rid of it, then they would have had to have taken a look. I don't think that ball made it to the line of scrimmage. If they had upheld the incomplete pass, but we had right. plenty of evidence to the fact that he was certainly down in a loss of seven. Timeout taken, one to go. It's been whole since. Lot, whole lot more than one, Tom, to go for the first down now, third and 19, and obviously, you're gonna use all four downs. What a long way to go in a short time to get there. Third and long for Klubnik. Got rid of it incomplete. And now it's fourth down. Teams played in Raleigh in 2021 and a win for NC State. Bold teams. Clemson was number nine in the nation. Double overtime and a win for the pack. And the first win for Dave Doran against the top 10 team. Trying to take out the Tigers for a second straight time at home. One for one on fourth down. With 25 seconds to go, here is your football game. They need the 38-yard line of NC State. Well, Mick has time to look. Whistles are going to stop the play. Second charge timeout, NC State, 30 seconds. So NC State elected to call a timeout. So Dave Dorn is 21 seconds away from his 77th win as the head coach of NC State. And this, James, after the week off, where they had a chance to refocus, reevaluate things, after a performance that they characterized to us as sporadic against Duke, where they only scored three points in a losing effort. And in that meeting yesterday, last coach we met with was Dave Doran. Last thing I asked him, you know, of course he's going to say yes. But when I said, as we were getting eyes, I said, are they going to respond? And, he, and just, the, just the look in his eye, he was, it, it was almost like, well, they better. And they <laughs> certainly have. And he said they had good confidence coming out of the Marshall game. James, where they defeated Marshall 48-41, and MJ Morris threw four TD passes. Yeah, he, you know, talked about how surprised he was. He felt like it was a great week of practice. And he'd never had such a good week of practice to play so poorly like they did against Duke. They've had two weeks to get ready for this one. And it's down to one play now for Dabo and the Tigers on the road. Fourth and 19 for Klubnik. Out of the pocket. Trying to extend the play. Throws it up for grabs. Incomplete ball on the turf. Turnover on downs with 14 seconds to go for the pack.
just buying all the time that he could. There comes that late pressure in the face from Sean Brown. And a chance by Tyler Brown down at the other end of that throw. But defenders in there able to rip it away. Johnny from Karate Kid is fired up. NC State had lost three of its last four games against Duke. Got the week off and came out with a performance to win this game against their longtime rival, Dave Doran. 77 wins at NC State, and he ties the legend Earl Edwards for most in school history. 24-17, the win here in Raleigh, and back-to-back -back losses for Dabble and the Tigers for the first time since November of 2011. What an amazing run, and, and another run of, I believe it's 12 straight seasons of 10 wins, and there you see Dabo talking to Peyton Wilson, giving him a pat on the hat after this game, and even